Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how, in just a few steps, you can use the software Testo IRSoft to analyze thermal images, especially from the field of preventive maintenance, and document them in a report. For this purpose, I'm going to use a few example images of switch cabinets and machines, which I've recorded using a Testo thermal imager. I first connect the thermal imager to my computer by USB. The Import Assistant opens to transfer the images to the PC. I click on Next, select the directory with the images to be imported, click on Next, decide to save them on the desktop, and finished. I click on Open in order to load the four thermal images into the software. If I've connected the clamp meter Testo 770-3 with the thermal imager during on-site measurement or have manually entered the values for current, voltage, or power, these are displayed up here. This documents at which load the recording was made, allowing me to better evaluate the images. These values also appear later in the report. But first I want to analyze the images more closely. I can see individual temperature values simply by mouse over. A mouse click sets a temperature measurement point. I'm going to add three here, one each on the phases of this component. I can enter a comment for each point in the table under the thermal image. In thermography of electrical components, temperature difference between the phases plays an important role. I can have this calculated for me easily by selecting the tool delta T at the thermal image markers. In my case, I want to determine the temperature difference between measurement point 1 and measurement point 3. I select these, confirm with OK, and the result is displayed to me in a table. I can add a comment to this as well. Maintenance is all about detecting thermal anomalies. The hotspot recognition helps here. I can use it to have the hottest spot in the overall thermal image clearly displayed to me. Optionally, also just for a section. To do this, simply select the Hotspot tool and mark the relevant image section. Thermography usually also involves the question of whether permitted maximum temperatures are being exceeded. I can have this displayed to me very easily in the image. Activate the checkbox Limit Values and set my limit value using either the slide control or the input field. In my example, it's 48 degrees Celsius. Red is set as the standard alarm color for an upper limit value. All pixels in the thermal image which exceed the limit value are now colored red. By the way, the software also offers the possibility of transferring the settings from one thermal image to others. To do this, I click on Copy Current Settings and an assistant leads me through the dialog. First of all, I select which images the settings should be taken over for, in my case for all four open ones. Then I select which settings are to be taken over. We'll take the limit values. I click on Next and the progress bar shows me how the settings are being transferred to the other images. When the transfer is finished, I close the assistant with Exit. My limit value from the first image is now set in all opened images. This function is especially useful if an object is frequently recorded thermographically. Then one can simply transfer the settings every time. But to get back to the analysis of individual images, in addition to the many analysis tools, I can also make a comment on the overall image in which, for example, I record the severity of the anomaly and when it needs to be remedied. With the help of the Twin Picks function, I can overlay a thermal image with the stored real image in the Testo IRSoft. This helps me to better identify the components in a switch cabinet, for example. I start Twin Picks and the assistant guides me through the function. For the overlay, four identical markings are made in the thermal image and the real image. I can then set the transparency level between the real and the infrared image and can color the upper temperature limit values. I finish the image and then have an overlay of real image and thermal image. I will now document the processed thermal images in a report 
together with other images which have been made. To do this, I select Report, go to the Report Wizard, and choose the Industry Thermography Report from the numerous templates. I add all images, and via Add Files, I can also add more images, even if they weren't open beforehand. Here, I just have to upload my company data and a company logo once. Then they are saved for all further reports. Here, I store the address and other information on the measurement site and the customer. In the next step, I can give more details on the job. For example, the voltage level or the level of load on the equipment. I input the summary of the measurement here. I then click on Next and a preview of the report is shown. As you can see here, all images and the corresponding information are visible. I'll now save the report in TestoZone TIR format, which allows me to further process the report later on, even after saving. However, in order to be able to send it to my customer by email, I save it in PDF format. And that's about it. That's how you use the Testo IRSoft software for preventive maintenance. You'll find many more videos on thermography and the Testo thermal images on our channel.